they're being like oh well i want a virgin why like why do you want because men are attracted to sexual purity isn't that kind of like oh sickening God. if you yeah. think about How it? How is that sickening? Because it's romanticizing it's pedophilia. pedophilia. What, what? But they're not Whoa. kids. They're not kids. They're not children. We're talking about adult women. You can be sexually pure, and that can mean either not being promiscuous or when it could be a pure. Like the most innocent. pure thing is you think of You're children. Yo, we're, okay, we're talking about adult relationships. So this is one of those very unique instances where like the whatever, the whatever guy is not like entirely and objectively wrong because in most circumstances they he is right he always is wrong the whatever this is the name of the show in most circumstances like that guy is like absolutely in the wrong okay and the girls that he carefully picks are also like being silly silly billies so he can like uh look better to his audience even though he's still always uh in the wrong um there's all but the the lady in this circumstance is also not entirely incorrect the the purity concept does come from like uh someone who is untarnished okay untarnished untouched um but no i don't think that like uh i don't i don't think that a, a woman being a virgin in her adult age makes them a a, a childlike okay I'm sorry. I think that uh, the uh, liberal rad lib discourse on this, the liberal rad lib discourse on this fucking makes me so mad. And this is one community that like genuinely uh, people get super fucking annoying on, especially because, um, especially because like every time this conversation comes up, it's like, <laughs> are small women actually children? Like that's what this discord deviates towards. And it's very stupid. Now, these guys take 100% take an 18-year-old virgin and a 30-year-old virgin. Don't be silly. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's, that's, you can make that assertion. But as long as the conversation revolves around, like, simply just the boundaries of virginity, then it's kind of weird, especially weird that we have motherfucking people in this chat who are full-ass adult virgins, Okay. I would have to see. I would have to see what is going on here. Uh, I, I need. I would need to see more context in this circumstance. But arguments like this very easily uh, belittle any kind of like uh, intellectual authority you may have had. Yes, but it's still very common for men who are in adult relationships to look for stuff that remind them of pedophilia. That's like, absurd. It's not absurd. That is it's just absurd. Very hidden within like our culture and things. That I mean, that is ridiculous. I, yeah, it's not gonna be. Listen, that's not gonna. Uh, there's no way this is gonna be a, a, a healthy conversation or debate. It's not about adults being virgins. It's about fetishizing virginity. Yeah. We exist. It's about control. Yeah. Well, almost every pedophilia argument is never about actual children or defending them. It's about painting the other person as a bad guy, whether they have pedophilic tendencies or not. I mean, but when these types of dudes talk about purity, they mean young women. I, I think so, but you can't jump to that assertion. She's not wrong. Schoolgirl outfits. Again, we have moved away, just as is the case with every fucking conversation. We move away from the boundaries of the, or the particular conversation to whatever it means to us, okay? Whatever that individually and personally means to us. This is a tendency that liberals have. It's a tendency that right-wingers have, okay? It's just like, it's so, it's so weird. It's weird. I think that specifically looking for someone who is inexperienced is weird okay it's weird you're like oh man i'm an experienced adult and i'm specifically looking for someone who is a virgin is weird it's odd okay it's odd and it comes from a place of insecurity as i talked about with andrew tate regularly okay that idea comes from insecurity. You are not confident in your own sexual prowess and you personally are worried that the person that you have 
uh, the person that you are talking to, okay, might have more experience and therefore know that, like, you ain't shit, okay? That insecurity is the main reason. Immediately hitting the pedo button uh, on that is is odd because this is a uh, this is a, a very strong take, and this is coming from someone who does not give a shit about the sexual status of an individual. Uh, you guys know this already. I have you know dated sex workers. I have dated people that have uh, not a lot of sexual experience. It literally does not matter. Okay. More, it's more insecurity in, in being alpha and dominant. Exactly. Well, a lot of those people who are like, I'm alpha, I'm alpha, are literally not fucking alpha. So that's the, that's the other point. Alpha is about being confident, no matter what they say. That's it. It's about, it's about confidence. But again, we will never be able to have this conversation in this medium specifically because anytime this conversation gets brought up, it deviates into 700,000 different ways. Uh, and and nobody has the actual conversation within the boundaries uh, of the argument itself, and everyone has the conversation uh, on what the fuck they think it entails, and then they go to like oftentimes very personal instances of trauma or co uh, coercion that they've experienced, something like that, and it's not productive at all. Doctor Spooky fourteen twenty four. Thank you for the five gifted subs. This is just a different version of the age gap discourse. Please know exactly. Interpersonal relationships. Like, see, and then, of course, you have literally schizophrenic takes. Oh, I thought you were saying I have porn categories or something. Hassan, porn is filled with 18-year-old categories and schoolgirl roleplay and so many virgin videos is definitely pedophilic to some degree. Um, I thought you were saying I do that or something. It feels very weird to only seek virgins as adults. As males, it definitely feels creepy. Catholic schoolgirl is in every other porn vid in 18-year-old category. She's not wrong, Hassan. Yes, that is because I think people are reliving their uh, sexual experiences that they wanted to most likely have when they were, uh, when they were uh, at that age group. That's probably where it comes from. I can't think about it any further than that. I think you have a huge blind spot around misogyny, dude. If women might have a little bit more insight than you, we get cancel, we get catcalled the most when we're at 11 to 15 year, years old. This is something I talk about all the fucking time, as a matter of fact. Sexualization of female minors is a regular occurrence and a gigantic issue. This is not something that I avoid talking about. I talk about it regularly. But what you have failed to recognize in that circumstance is 11 to 15 year olds are getting catcalled. That is entirely different than adults. You're, again, having a conversation about exactly what I said. Personal experiences and personal trauma that you withstood, that you experienced, that, that has nothing to do with the conversation uh, at hand. Okay? Again. It's not an entirely different topic, man. It is the topic. Okay. <sighs> How is it completely different? What is the point you are making? Men are creepy. Men are perverted. Men can be pedophiles. Okay? That is a very... And the 11 to 15-year-old thing that you're talking about is absolutely a commonplace thing. Okay? Okay? But if you're going to have a conversation about like, uh, oh, like kink, especially like uh, uh, someone dressing up like as a schoolgirl or some shit, while it doesn't, while it's not for me in particular, if it's conducted by consenting adults, you are, um, you are, are losing the plot. You're comparing men predating uh, children to... Uh, to someone trying to like, um, 
reimagine their own personal experience from their own personal lived experience in a different way. I'm, it is safe to assume that this person is most likely still absolutely operating on the creepy uh, boundaries, okay? This person's interest might be creepy in general when it per- as it pertains to, like, I want a virgin, I want a virgin. Most circumstances, anyone that says, I want a virgin, unless they themselves are also virgins and have no fucking experience, in most circumstances, they themselves are doing this because they're fucking creepy, okay? They're creepy, And in most circumstances, they are sexually inexperienced and creepy and also insecure. Okay? So they want a level of control. It is weird. I agree. But ultimately, any moment that uh, this conversation draws up like the age-old, uh, you know, Zoomer discourse on TikTok and on Twitter, <sighs> it creates a weird space where it doesn't turn into, um, it, it just like moves away from uh, productivity, product, uh, productive discourse. I do think that openly saying that you are looking for a virgin is odd. It's weird. It's weird, and it ranges from weird to possibly illegal. Okay? That's it. And it stems from the same place. But having that conversation... Having that conversation uh, by, by hitting the pedophilia line, in my opinion, also reinforces the exact same purity spiral that was created by puritanical, misogynistic, patriarchal constructs. Okay? Someone's sexual experience does, should not immediately, uh, in your minds at the very least, a woman's sexual experience should not immediately uh, imply mileage. Okay, he's thinking about it like that, but you should not allow that construct to continue. Okay. This is why I don't talk about it. Because then people will uh, refuse to understand what I'm saying and jump to, why are you dying on this hill? Because you're not hearing me out. You're only fucking uh, hearing what you want to hear, and it is associated with most likely some trauma that you might have experienced. Okay? And in this circumstance, it's probably warranted, because he is a fucking creepy weirdo, but considering the the delicate nature of this subject matter because of how, um, how, how important this assertion is, it's just like in my opinion, hitting it with a black and white, like, and, and being like, oh, you're just a, you're a, a pedophile like this. Um, and I'm just creating so many opportunities for people to clip chimp here and like misunderstand the point I'm making. It's a case by case circumstance. This podcast looks way too much like a parody. It's not hard to just copy fresh and fit and you get talked about by people on the internet by pointing how crazy your takes are. Isn't she saying that the concept of mileage itself is one that systematically shapes a social dynamic that is pedophilic? Unless she takes a left turn, there's no disagreement. I hear you, and you have good points, but please stop pulling the it's the chatter's trauma card. It can be and is on case by case, but please don't straw man it. I mean, that's not. I said that, and everyone immediately went to their own personal experiences, so... That happens for every single circumstance, every single issue. Especially one that uh, pertains to interpersonal dynamics. 
um, you know, cishet relationships between men and women. It literally is is the only way that we can analyze uh, relationships through the relationships that we've had. And of course, because that uh, because that uh, experience is clouded with a sea of patriarchal constructs, some of which does definitely um, uh, place a lot of value, associate a lot of value unjustifiably upon uh, you know women's uh, women's value in uh, in any field towards like how sexually desirable they are, and also simultaneously how little experience they have, like how how youthful they are. Like fertility is associated with youth. You know, VS, thank you for the 25. Get the subs. Yeah. But ultimately, it's uh, it's just so dumb to have this conversation over and over again. It's unproductive, and people probably clip chimp and uh, and and uh, use this as an opportunity to do whatever the fuck uh, they want with this discourse. Okay. It is too nuanced for live streaming. All right, we're gonna we're gonna move to like uh, one element of uh, personal discourse here before I get to what I think a significant chunk of men would be pedophiles, as in they'd have sex with a fourteen and fifteen year old if the law allowed it, and men need to start admitting a lot of their peers are fucked up. What the fuck? Bro, that's an insane thing to say. Like, that's crazy that that is your worldview. I'm sorry. And I know so many people believe that. It's like, fuck. Can we not have this conversation, please? Let's just move on. It's not one that, it's not one that makes you look good, I promise. That's insane. And I knew that this is this is where it was inevitably going to go to. And now, and now it, it went there. It's like saying people would kill each other if murder was legal. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay, now all the fucking psychotic pedophiles are in the chat going, what if someone is 15 but look way older? Oh my god, I hate this. They're abolish Reddit. Okay. Uh it's just every debate lord, every debate lord loves that tendency. They have it in them, they have it in their heart. They have to. They have to have this two conversations that every debate lord has to have at all times is why can't white people say the N word or the newer version of that, which is, uh, you know, cracker needs to be, uh, designated as an anti-white slur, uh, akin to the N word or age of consent, uh, debates. It's so fucking freaky. It's so weird. I don't like having this conversation. Y'all are fucking gross. Okay. Y'all are fucking gross as shit. Grow the fuck up. Buy a subscription at the top of the hour so you don't have to fucking see the three-minute ad breaks any longer. Okay? Anyway. 